Hi, my name is Steve. I hope you enjoy this instructional video and it's very useful for you. In this tutorial, we want to walk through securing information inside of a BERT data object. In my example, we already have a data object designed. We already have the query and, and the queue built. And what we want to show is securing the different components. So with a data object that's already been published, I'll just log in as a specific user and we'll go see what it looks like today without any specific security around it. We'll just rename this to data security and we're going to create two column charts. One from the data cube itself and one from the data set. So the data cube here is the the hierarchical information. So we're just going to do office country. We're gonna, we want to see quantity ordered by office country. So we have one for the data cube, and like I said, we want to do the same thing for the data set. Is office country quantity ordered? But notice as the France user that I logged in as, I can see all of the other countries' information. Well, what we want to do is secure this to where the France user can only see their own information. We don't want to take away access to the entire queue. We just want them to see their own specific information. So to do this, we need to secure the data set and the data cube itself. So we go back to our designer, and we see in our data set, we have our query, output columns, computed columns. We have a tab here for security. And as I said, we want to we want to limit what they access in the cube, not give them access to the whole thing like the access control is. We just want to give them access to specific rows. So for the row access control expression, we want to set that to office country. So in our data set, we have office country, which will now match up to a, a role or a user on the IO. If I save this, let me generate a new data object and let's publish that new data object to the iHub. On the iHub, inside of the iHub Management Council are privileges on our data object that we just created or we, we just published out again. So under properties, under privileges, you notice that we have a role of France selected that is visible, execute, and secure read has the permission set. Make sure we have secure read, which that will then limit what they have access to. So now if we go back to our dashboard here, we're just simply going to refresh this tab, and you'll notice the data set that I just secured, I now only have access to my France information. But you'll also notice that the cube still has all the information in it, as we haven't set any, any security in there yet. So let's set that security. If we go down to our data cube itself, go into groups and measures, and under our dimensions, we have that country, we have that office country. We're going to edit that, and we're going to assign another a member access control list. So again, we want to limit what they're able to view in the data object itself. So we're going to set that data that member access control list to office country. And we're going to go back, save the design, and we're going to generate another data object here with all our information and all our security on it. Now we're going to publish this to the iHub again, which will then take on the permissions that we last set. And if we go back to our tab and we refresh our tab again as our France user, we have now secured the data set and the data object. So real quick so we can prove this out, let me share this uh, data security tab with everyone and let's log off and log back in as an administrator and let's add that tab as the administrator and see what that administrator is able to see. So now as the administrator they have access to all that information and you can set that up for different roles, different users, and different information.
For more information on securing data sets and data objects, you can, go to, you can visit BERTExchange.com, go to Current Documentation, and under Using Actuate BERT Designer Professional, we can view the online help. We can do a quick search for access control list expressions, and the results we get back will help guide you into what needs to be set based on what information you need to secure. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video.